world has a problem in terms of plastic and plastic waste. Our inability to dispose of plastic in an environmentally friendly way creates major challenges. Eight million tons of plastic enter our waterways each year. At this rate, by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. The fashion industry and then the sporting goods industry as part of this is one of the most polluting industries in the world. It's maybe something that a lot of people don't know. We cannot continue in the same way. We need to drastically change the way we drive our business. It is an extremely large industry, so it is important that we look at the entire supply chain and see how we can reduce our environmental footprint. We in ASICS committed ourselves to a more sustainable product and to come with a more sustainable apparel line. We try to hit a 90% recycled content by 2023. We try to source with vendors who have socially and environmentally high standards. Developing the, the 2020 marathon t-shirts, it was really important to incorporate sustainable materials. So being able to find the Heerd Armani Group, one of the most sustainable suppliers in the world, in fact, for us was a really great opportunity. Our goal is really to start a larger movement in the industry, to convince end consumers and global brands that you can produce good quality apparel from recycled material, and by doing so, help solve a major global problem. The process starts with the collection of PET bottles found mostly on the shores of Sri Lanka. We use the support of local communities, hotels and private companies to aid in the collection process. More recently, we have started collecting directly from schools and local institutions in many towns and villages across the island. Across a school network in Colombo, we have established recycling bins so that even the plastic that is not recycled at home can be brought by school children into these schools and then discarded properly. By seeing their schoolmates doing it, by seeing their teachers doing it, and by seeing each other do it, they learn that this is the way to do things and they hopefully will carry that with them. Following the collection, the bottles are compacted and transported to our central facility. The bottles are then washed, separated and crushed into pellet form. The pellets have various uses. One of them is to create a recycled polyester yarn. The yarn can be dyed to various colors and knitted into fabric form as required by the customer or brand. This particular fabric was cut and sewn into the ASICS Marathon t-shirts at Hydromani's flagship eco-green facility, Mihila, Asia's first carbon-neutral apparel factory. The project that we're doing now is a great example of, of collaboration. Collaboration is key to really creating the positive impact that we need in the industry uh, to resolve the challenges of environmental disaster. When we heard about the opportunity to source ocean waste, plastics, and we could use that in our garments, we got really enthusiastic. By using the ocean waste yarn, we're not giving in to the qualities of the ASICS product. The quality is still the same. We've tested it. Visually, it looks the same. Hand feel is the same. Uh, from a performance perspective, it does the same. If you put it next to each other, you can't see, you can't feel the difference. It's a truly sustainable program and a huge step towards ASICS's goal of creating more sustainable product going forward. <laughs>